being a, an engineering, mechanical engineering infrastructure consulting company um, to impact investing. And what was the, was there um, a moment where you, where, that hit you where you said, this is what I want to do? And if so, what, what, what happened? Uh, probably a number of things. Coming to IE, getting stuck in entrepreneurship world, realizing this is a place where you do that sort of thing, where know-how meets passion, if you like, business know-how, where, where people are dreamers, where people are trying to create new value. Um, realizing that I fit really well into that way of thinking about, about business. Um, coming out of that, the word impact investing is so new. It's, it's not even a decade. Old, so I couldn't have kind of, you know, 20 years ago kind of said, this is what I want to do. But I did know that coming from Ghana originally, I wanted to do something in terms of investing in, in the people of that country, um, creating opportunities. Part of me thought, you know, maybe I'm going to climb the career ladder, make a lot of money, and then act in an angel invest, investing kind of a capacity. For a long time, I sort of thought that, and I just realized like, I, I want to be working with people want to be working with these companies directly. I don't want to take a distanced approach to this. So the best way to do this is to actually go go and build a company that does that. Um, having said that, it did take uh, something like the pandemic. It makes you realize that the security that we think we have isn't actually as much as we think that it is. And so we can make bigger decisions for our lives that change the arc of our, of our journey and um, we'll be fine, we'll be okay. So it was over that period that myself and my two partners thought, you know what, let's go for it. And if we fail, we fail, but we'll have known that we went for it.